so after a ridiculous early start this morning uh, we are very near to the place we're going for the training day uh, we've got a little bit of a rolling repair to do on our lights on our trailer fortunately mechanic Cole is here to do the handiwork for us but um, anyway the cars are hammer, all been cleaned ready for the day so uh, we'll soon be there and we're here yes that was a nice easy journey it was an easy journey if a bit long I the think driver we... did splendidly <laughs> oh! I think the only thing we haven't done to this car yet is caught it on fire. I actually quite like it. Look, if he um, sees his hat, yeah. if you go and lift his hat off, because his head looks exactly like an egg in a tea cosy, <laughs> go on, go and take his hat off. The sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? I travel. So, Julian, can you tell me what today is all about? So we'll be having some very, very simple exercises to start with. Uh, a lot of the people here are even more beginners than you are. So some of them have never been in a trials car. So they've got to learn how to drive with fiddle brakes. They've got to learn how to steer the car, brake the car and so on. So we'll be starting with really simple stuff. Um, and uh, we'll be watching you and teaching you and so on. In your case, you'll be driving your own car. But of course, many of the people here today will be driving uh, our cars, which will be top cars from the world of BTI. So, so we'll cars. be at a disadvantage. The big advantage of a training day is that it enables people to come and have a go in other cars. Yeah. So if you want to, you'll be able to jump in another car and compare and see how your car compares with, with some really top line cars. And I mean, we've, we've got, we've got championship one. winning cars here yeah. uh, for people who are thinking about either joining trials or want to talk about cars or want to talk technical questions or whatever. I travel the world in the seven seas Everybody is looking for something My name's Julian Pack. I've been in the sporting trials so long that the first car I built is now winning its class in historics. Today's uh, <laughs> operations are being filmed by the uh, Dream Car Show team who have some YouTube videos up. Uh, I think they're up to about 12 or 13 videos now and uh, they are filming uh, a novice's starting point in sporting trials and how to... Uh... You're all going to be famous. So the basic deal today is that we have a lot of uh, sporting trials cars here that are current cars in the sport. We have each one with its owner as an instructor and roughly speaking two people, two of you, will share each car. That doesn't mean you're stuck with one car all day. You can shift around, but basically it's two to one. The idea is that you will therefore learn to drive the cars uh, using the pedal brakes. Now, this is where we get a little bit technical and where you must pay attention and understand that driving sporting trials cars is completely different to anything you've ever done before. It is not the same whatsoever. <coughs> So you come along to the training day um, just to see what 750 trials is like. Is that the plan for you? Yeah, 750. Right. Okay. Cool. And what do you think of it? Uh, has it gone so far? Yeah, really fun. Um, and you've learnt loads. Learnt loads. It's completely different to anything I've ever done before. Yeah. Um, but it's a great introduction. You've learned how to slalom, you pair them up it. I'm still getting my left and right mixed up. So we've done a bit of the slalom. Uh, what's uh, what's this oh, you... section for? We're brilliant at that now, by the Are way. Are you brilliant? Yeah, brilliant. Well, well there's your he, chance. He isn't. <laughs> I'll ask the passenger. Are they brilliant at that now? <laughs> oh, he's telling the truth. So uh, <laughs> this section, this what section? do we do here? Just, just trying to assess where you guys are at. I okay. don't want to set off too hard and yeah. get everybody... Yeah. Right, so perfect. Off, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. perfect. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to get used by. So what I want is you guys to drive up to the line and stop there. Stop on the line? Right. You've done what I'd hope you had, would do actually. 
this is actually a very poorly laid out hill, right? right. Because the start gate is pointing uphill, which is, from the clerking point of view, is bad form. Okay, you but, normally lay them at yeah. an angle, so yeah. you... Well, downhill or level. Right, okay. But, so when are you going to set off now, which brake are you going to pull? Uh, well, neither, I'm going straight, neither. Well, yeah, that's, that's the point. If you just got a bit of angle on, right, we would know that the car was settled that way and we'd know which brake to pull. But, some of them want to abuse you Some of them want to be abused Right, but you're sort of going uh, There's no regulation of what you're, what you're trying to do is win a little bit of pace so that when you get to the corners you've got to change fiddle haven't you you've, yeah. you're off that fiddle and you've got to change over and at that point is the point it's going to let go so you need to have won a bit of pace so when you're going to do the changeover you can just ease off the throttle a little bit and get back onto the other fiddle and then you're off again on that fiddle <laughs> made much more difficult now to up our skills either that or we've learned that Richard is a sadomasochist back to do that as long as the front stays in you're good you've won a car's length chances you're setting off at nil but it would look good <laughs> okay so we've now Put our tyre pressures down, they were about seven, but we've now put them down to three psi. On the instruction of Peter, if it all goes wrong, this is the man this to blame. Is. Okay, so uh, this hill is actually very steep very slippery it doesn't look it on camera but it is here comes chris we've not been able to get up this hill six or seven times but now with the right instruction taking the time right behind my back and I'm talking to myself at night because I probably a good few hours into the training now and we keep doing the same hill the same hill the same hill and all the mistakes that we're actually making are being pointed out to us by uh, the other the expert drivers and it's really really paying off that last hill there is quite steep i've probably got wrong about six times and it just slowly slowly sinks in how to trust the car to creep up the hill just basically on tick over and if you get it just right the car will take you up now for months I've been blaming our car, saying oh, our car's never going to get us anywhere, but I think today it's proved it's not about the car not having the, uh, the berries, it's the driver. So thus far the instruction has been fantastic. <laughs> no. As soon as it's trying to start to turn, you probably wouldn't use like the roof there, right? Car on! <laughs>
So there we are, the poles are coming out. Some determined people still having a last go. But due to the patience of the brilliant instructors um, and uh, some of the things they showed us on this day have been absolutely invaluable. Um, earlier on, I was struggling to get kind of halfway up a hill and then by, well, the end of today now, I've just done about three runs and just climbed up. Um, well, not say it was easy, but compared to what I was doing this morning, it just felt so much more relaxed and comfortable and you get a really good feel for the car itself. And once you get that little bit of confidence, you kind of a bit less panicky with the controls on the car. So if you are remotely interested in the 750 Sporting Trials, the hill climbs, it's really fantastic, it's as much fun as it looks, but the training days are the way to fully learn if it is for you. And that way you get to do and have a go in all these cars before you commit to uh, thinking about buying one. So it's definitely something you should do. 